All right, so, wow, there's a Tesla Model 3 coming here. Mm-hmm. Neighbor bought a nice Tesla. Anyway, so we're now gonna pick up some bread, and I think this is an opportune time to, um, this is an opportune time to do a demonstration first-person video. Uh, hmm, nice plate, EV for me. Mm -mm. So this is a demonstration video um, in the first person of um, driving in Alberta. So we're just gonna... I'll just talk to this guy. I'll say nice car. <laughs> nice car! Yeah, it's, uh, it gets the job done, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> we love it! <laughs> you too all right so nice to see a fellow um, Tesla owner here in Alberta okay so now we're on our way to our um, friend's place she baked some bread for us it's Sunday May 24 and it's a beautiful day it's 21 degrees outside and it's a good day to drive so we are here in a nice little city of Chestermere in Alberta. It's um, a small city. It is um, with a population of 20,000 people um, right outside of Calgary. So we're going to go to one of the Calgary suburbs, um, Forest Place on the east side. I would say that's an older community but um, you know, that friend of mine that we are going to um, was a real estate client of mine when I was still a practicing real estate agent and um, She loves her house We got a good deal on it and we actually worked together in the same financial services brokerage firm So yeah, we are now just driving along in the in our neighborhood in this main boulevard and we're gonna hit the highway soon so I'm going to um, demonstrate I'm um, do a little bit of autopiloting here so you can see in first person how that works so we live in a pretty um, urban slash rural place urban in the sense that we live in a you know in a new community in an actual city but we're close to like acreages you know like here left and right there are acreages there's some farmland nearby and this is actual farmland that we have around here um, I, you know what, I thought I would leave this up here, but you know, I think um, for the interest of the video, so you can have an uninterrupted view of our surroundings, I will just take it off. So yeah, this is Chestermere, East Chestermere, just outside of Calgary. Calgary has a population of 1.4 million. Um, Chestermere is the first town um, east of Calgary before you hit Strathmore. Okay, this guy didn't even do a full stop. So, I'm the type of person who likes doing um, full stops. Too many places for cops to hide. Now I'm videoing again. Alright, so was I just talking and talking? Anyway, so now I am driving on the highway. Well, I did activate autopilot. So autopilot is on with the stock. I guess I don't need to tell you how to activate it. You've probably watched so many millions of Tesla videos on YouTube. Um, I just demonstrated that I have navigated autopilot on, but since this road is not supported, it is, um, it's not active. So you can see these things with, you 
see here there's some steering wheel icons so if there's a steering wheel icon that means navigate on autopilot is uh, available so in this stretch of road um, the Trans Canada Highway it's not available and I believe because of the um, intersections they would prefer to have the um, they would prefer to have just the controlled, you know, on-ramp, off-ramp styles. But here, no, we have intersections on the highway. On this side, this being Canada, not being the interstate of the U.S. So, we are now, um, let's take this left lane. I know, I'm not a camp, I, I don't tend to camp, but... stuck behind the semi truck at the lights all right so I'm just leaving autopilot on let's let it do its thing okay you see the car brakes I just lowered the speed to um, 5 over the speed limit, 75, and after this light that we just passed, the speed limit goes back to 90, so let's put it back to 10 over the speed limit. exceed 70 kilometers per hour while crossing this intersection you know that's an expensive photo booth all right navigate an autopilot is on okay I think it got confused there for a little bit so it will do the lane changes by itself I'll just set it to 95 and it says upcoming lane change okay so it did the signaling, apply slight turning force to, si to steering wheel, and it is exiting by itself. Okay. And then it will take this exit on 52nd Street. So we're going to take 52nd Street South. That's a vintage boat. And shortly after, uh, sh shortly after this um, exit, it should um, signal itself to the left and then give the control back to me. So it says navigate an autopilot ending. Okay, so I did that and then I'll, I'll take control. And now I'll step on the brake. And there you go. So that's how navigate an autopilot 
um, acts. So is it a great system? I'd say it's good. It's a proof of concept, but there is a lot of learning for it to do. You know, so what, imagine the first autopilot was very rudimentary um, when it first came out. It didn't have this navigate and autopilot. And um, there's the swarm AI learning. So as more people drive, it learns, right? It will learn more of the, um, it would learn more of the roads as more people drive here. So as more Teslas um, are sold here in Alberta, as more Teslas are sold here in Alberta, um, it will get better and better. Now I'm approaching my friend's house. I cut out part of the video so, you know, just so that you don't know exactly where it is. <laughs> and she said that she would um, hang it on her door. Yeah, I see it there. It's hung on her door, so I'm just gonna grab it. bread that my wife ordered from her yeah that's good like my hands getting some fresh bubble tea for 15 minutes sure thank you all right thanks bye bye okay since we're out and about anyway Diane took the liberty of ordering some bubble tea from Coco so yeah it's a good day for some bubble tea all right so now back to 16th avenue north that's the um, trans canada highway drive you know this is the road that um, divides Calgary into the north and the south halves so um, on this side we're on the south southeast side of Calgary if we um, cross this we'll be in the northeast side of Calgary and now we're in the northeast This is a primarily, um, let me say the word, um, older neighborhood. seems um, to be slow or lost I don't know so yeah now I'm, I'm now on autopilot
have to take the westbound um, on-ramp onto the Trans-Canada Highway. Outside 22 degrees. Not sure if you guys can see it, but gas is um, 92.9 cents per liter here. In the lowest point of the um, pandemic, it went down to as low as 56.9 or in the mid 50s. So that's the lowest I've ever seen ever since I immigrated to Canada in 2008. So 92.9 is almost what almost 40 like 80 percent more than what it was at the lowest point. Right, so it has bounced back nicely. Mostly um, in the past decade, gas prices were hovering in the more or less a dollar to a dollar ten range per liter. good news for Alberta I guess because Alberta economy um, thrives when there is higher gas prices or when oil is higher you know there's some economics there so all right now we are gonna take this on-ramp Now let's do this drive um, mostly on autopilot. So once we merge onto the highway, I will activate autopilot. Spring, that's pothole season. <laughs> okay. But I like with the Model X is we have no problem merging onto highway speed. So now we're set to um, just 10 over the speed limit. This guy seems to be going faster than 10 over the speed limit. CFC 8506. <laughs> Toyota Celica? I don't know. I don't think the cops watch these videos. <laughs> I'm reading the plate number aloud. <laughs> so yeah, I'm on autopilot now. And we are headed to Coco, so we will just exit on Edmonton Trail. It's telling us to take a right and go left, left, left and make a U-turn. Hmm. But I don't think we will do that. So, again, my hands are here, close to the steering wheel, you know, so they're ready to take over at any time. But largely the car is just steering itself. It just says apply light force to steering wheel. So I just give a little tug and that removes the error message. So yeah, it's taking it nicely. And there is this part where um, you know what, you're able to activate navigate and autopilot here, but at this point, um, right after this exit, it will deactivate the navigate and autopilot. You know, so it isn't of much use to us. So, as you can see, it will say 200 meters navigate and autopilot ending. And there you go. has deactivated the navigate and autopilot so another thing I will have to do is um, I'll have to manually lower the speed limit of my car so you can see it, it reads the speed limit I think they pull it from the Google Maps you know it says 60 kph I'm still at 100 
so for the maximum speed allowed obviously I'm stopped right so I can lower this to just 10 over the speed limit to 70 that's enough to keep up with the flow of traffic so yeah we are now in um, Mayland Heights area So we are approaching the interchange with Deerfoot Trail. Okay, Deerfoot Trail is the north-south um, main highway of Calgary. So if you were going to traverse the city from going north to south, this is the main highway that you are going to take. However, we are not going to take Deerfoot Trail. We're just going to go along this road. So we're already doing 10 over, but other vehicles have, like this pickup truck has passed us, right? And we still have to manually brake to um, stop at the light. This interchange is more of a, you know, it's a roundabout style. other light turns green I can activate the autopilot there you go so I'll set the autopilot again to 10 over the speed limit or actually slightly less let's do 7 over the speed limit there is sometimes a, um, a cop that hides over here so I'm not sure if that's the case now but you know what better safe than sorry Generative braking to come to a full stop and then just step on the brake to fully stop the car that's the best part about driving a Tesla or any electric car the regenerative braking um, slows the car down for you you don't even have to step on the brakes you're almost doing one pedal driving I know the newer Raven um, Tesla Model S's and X's and even the new Model 3's they have the pure one pedal driving where you don't even have to step on the brake they just keep on improving and improving over time destination so we're actually not going to follow this we're going to turn left and then turn into um, Coco actually that's where Peter's Peter Peter's drive-in is um, it's very close to um, this popular um, burger joint This is a student driver, <laughs> almost 
bumped into that caravan. Oh my. <laughs> oh, that's some dangerous driving. BBM 0460. <laughs> What's that? Oh, there's a lineup. Okay. So, I guess you have to call them, love. I'll park somewhere. I'll drop you off and then I'll park. Yeah, so there is a lineup. You see, they're following some social distancing guidelines. Six feet apart. Oh, that's a nice vintage. Um, Volkswagen, Carmen Ghia. Convertible. Mm, this guy went ahead. Alright. Hi, Coco Cavalry 16. How many are what can I help you? Hi, I'm, I'm only picking up an order. Um, There seems to be a line outside. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I, I can't hear you quite. Hello? I'm picking up an order. Yeah, so should I just go in or... Yeah, I'm... I'm just here. I'm around the block, but I can see there's a long lineup. So should I just go in, walk in, and just get it? Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. So that means I'm just gonna turn around here. Yeah. Walk in. All right. So yeah, she's. Diane's gonna pick up her bubble tea. So she said she's gonna walk in. I think I'm going to just um what should I do? Use my hazard lights somewhere here, drop her off and wait until um wait until someone leaves. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, love. Okay, I'm gonna take that parking spot. Hmm. I think I can take advantage of the automatic parking. So, what I will do is um, I'm going to demonstrate the automatic parking. So you see, auto park ready, just press start, and then it should do the parking automatically. So, And I can take over if I don't feel comfortable. Ooh, that's close. Uh, I'll just take over. It's taking too long. Yeah, I seldom, seldom rely on the automatic parking. I'll fix it. Okay. That's a Model 3. She waved at me. <laughs> I waved back, but she was too far away. Alright. There you go. So, now I'm parked. I'll just wait for Diane here. So, there you go. I have my, um, I think I've done some demonstrating of the autopilot, doing a little tour of Calgary, and um, having some first person video shot inside the Tesla. Yeah, really nice. All right, so I'll take this off. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. <laughs> if you liked it, please click the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, click the thumbs down. And either way, it would help my channel a lot if you subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.